Really, the church is so dependent on support roles. I mean, say what you want, but in so many churches, the director of women's ministry is the most important position in the entire church, but probably doesn't need a full executive search. So, so there is some frustration about high specialty roles and then some frustration about uh, not having the right fit for the support roles that are out there, children's pastor searches, uh, if you're a, a large church, associate campus worship pastors. And then as we moved into schools over the last several years, man, we love your process, but we really just need a great math teacher. Well, mm -hmm. and that can make or break a school. I mean, I remember, I remember Ms., Mr. Knoyer, my chemistry teacher, he was awesome. And he made that, I mean, everybody liked Mr. Knoyer. And that's just not what an exec search is built for. And it doesn't have yeah. a search committee. It's got a principal that's looking and needs something done fast. So after trying three different times mm -hmm. to launch a solution, uh, the first time we were like, let's do virtual searches only. And this was back when tech was not good and it, yeah. it didn't go well. And then we tried another iteration um, and, and it went marginally better. But I think now, and, and COVID has actually accelerated this. Yeah. Uh, I, I think now we've got a pretty good handle on uh, what it would take to help these support roles and to do it quickly. So pastors aren't buried in 500 resumes for an associate worship director. Uh, and the pastor can stay focused on mission, right? And to do it inexpensively uh, because the pastor's going to take over most of the hiring or the principal or the CEO of the nonprofit and uh, basically get them good qualified candidates for support roles in a fast, rapid fire fashion. And we've yeah. built an engine for doing that. We've already tested it. Um, and, and now that, you know, 12 years has gone by, our megaphone is a lot bigger than it used to be. So if we shout about a school needing a math teacher, it's going to trickle out in ways that wouldn't have happened 10 years ago. Uh, so, you know, we wanted to keep things all under one umbrella, but actually what we realized was that this is a whole separate company. So what did you do? What'd you do in the pandemic? Well, we launched a new company. 